breaking right now this morning. Joe Biden now has the lead in Georgia overtaking President Trump just minutes ago. Take a look at the updated totals as election results continue to come in from the four states still up for grabs. Biden now leading the president by 917 votes in Georgia. Meantime, Biden continues his stretch to stretch his lead in Nevada, but President Trump is closing the gap in Arizona. Here in Pennsylvania, Biden continues to chip away at the president's lead, which is now just about 18,000 votes. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabao is live this morning at the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Convention Center, where workers there continue to count the ballots this morning. Good morning to you, Jan. Janelle, good morning. All eyes on Philadelphia today. The workers inside the Pennsylvania Convention Center still have just about 50,000 mail in ballots to count at this point, with those numbers being updated every so often. Take a look. This is the live picture from inside. The work continues around the clock inside the Pennsylvania Convention Center. These workers are processing 10,000 ballots an hour. And with the race here in Pennsylvania getting tighter and tighter, the call could come down to these very votes. Now, as the race heats up, so do tempers outside of the convention center. This was the scene at 12th and Arch yesterday as opposing groups went back and forth with chants and sometimes insults. Biden supporters want every vote counted. Trump supporters, meantime, say they want more access to watch the process. That all comes as President Trump claims the system of tallying mail in ballots is corrupt. In Philadelphia, though, this massive operation is actually a bipartisan effort. The city commissioner's office is made up of two Democrats and a Republican, and they say campaign observers have been welcome in the counting room from the very beginning. Meantime, the Trump campaign claimed they'd won a legal victory yesterday, and a pallet court's order allows campaign observers to watch the process from six feet away instead of 20 feet. Later in the day, though, a federal judge denied the campaign's request to enforce that six foot rule, but city officials say they will continue with it anyway. Now, folks from both sides say they just want a fair election. I like show me all of it, and then you won or you lost, regardless of who the winner is. The eyes have been dotted and the teeth have been crossed, and whatever the result, as long as every vote has counted, I think that's what democracy is. Now, overnight, city officials say they added just about 6,000 mail in ballots to their tally, so we are inching closer to a finish line, albeit it feels like we're crawling at times. We're coming to you live outside the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Jan Carabeo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back into you. It's like a turtle race. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate it.